fettuccine alfredo day one, which what that means is this is going to be a couple day process. Day one, we're going to be making dough in class with your lab partner. Day two, we're actually going to be rolling out your dough using a pasta dough uh, roller, making your fresh uh, fettuccine noodles. And then on day three, you'll make a sauce that you'll eat with the fettuccine. Um, I know it's a long uh, process, but it's well worth the wait. So let's get started with our pasta dough. Um, now, on your recipe, you can, in whatever you feel comfortable with in class, you can pre measure your ingredients and then make your dough, or you can go uh, make it as you go. I'm going to make it as I go because I'm going to be working actually on my counter. So um, the first step always, after you wash your hands, or first wash your table, then wash your hands. But it's very, very, very important that your work surface is very clean because you are using the, the, the area here rather than a bowl. Okay? So we're going to start with flour. Um, in this recipe, flour is going to be the structure, the bulk. Um, it's going to be the substance of the, uh, the dough. So I'm going to start off. You're going to be using the dry measuring cups. Um, some recipes have you using the scales, some still have you using the, the cups. Um, just make sure you're measuring accurately. So just to recap that, we're just going to mix up our flour, and we're just using a regular all-purpose flour. Um, if you wanted this to be a little bit healthier, you could use a whole wheat, but it will change the flavor. So you want it to be light and fluffy. I'm just going to scoop it on in. Okay. We grab my straight edge spatula. Straight it up. And like I said, we're using the work surface, so I'm just going to dump this right into one mound on my work area. And I also need a half cup. Okay, so I'm just going to do it the same exact way because you need one and a half cups of your flour. Okay, put that off to the side. Our next ingredient is going to be salt. Now for the salt, you need a half of a teaspoon. Um, you can do this in one of two ways. We really want you to use eyesight, the savory measurement method, or if you're not comfortable with that yet, you can use your um, measuring spoon. I am comfortable with this because salt's just a flavor enhancer, just to add that extra little uh, you know, flavor to your sauce, or to your dough, excuse me. So I'm gonna do one, maybe a little more. If you have a little more than a half a teaspoon, it's not going to kill the recipe. Now, if I took this and poured it on, then I'm going to have very salty dough, and that's what you want to avoid. You just want a little something to enhance. What you're going to now do, you can do this with a spoon, your hand, whatever you want. I'm going to use both. You're just going to incorporate the salt. It's important to incorporate the salt because you want all the pasta dough flavored. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to essentially create a, a bowl with my flour and I'm going to make a little hole in the center using my fingers. This is going to hold everything that you're going to mix in, your liquid ingredients, eggs, etc. Okay? Next we're going to add our eggs, our first start of the uh, liquid ingredients. Now this is going to add elas elastic to your dough. Um, it's also going to, if you have too many eggs, it's going to be too tough, and if you don't add enough eggs, it's not going to really clump together the way you're, you're looking for it to. So this recipe calls for two eggs and one yolk. Just as a recap, um, the white, once I break into it, the yellow part is the yolk, the white part is the one. Okay? So I'm just going to do a little knot here, directly into our center. Make sure you don't have any shells. Put this right back in there. I'm going to actually start mixing this a little. And there we go. Okay. And then we are going to need to extract our yolk. Take our yolk out. You can use um, just the shell or you can use the egg separator. I know a lot of students always feel most comfortable using the egg separator, so I'll show you how to, to use that. Now, it's very important where it says, you know, that you only need the yolk, that you're not adding that white. If you add in that additional white, it will make 
your dough very tough. So make sure that you're just using the, the yellow part. I'm just going to take that off and put this right in there. As it runs over, that's okay. Now we're going to start Oop. mixing it, this in. And yes, it's going to be a little bit of a messy process, but that's okay. It's, it's, it's fun. You're just going to keep mixing it all around. I'm just going to move this off to the side. I'm just going to keep mixing it. It's not all going to clump together yet. The last step is to add um, water, and that's, is, that's what will make it all come into one big ball. But it, this is feeling just the right texture. Your best tool in the kitchen is your hand. That's how you know if something is the right consistency. And it's starting to really form together well. It will seem dry, and sometimes students are like, I added too much flour. And it's no, it's just at this point it's still going to be dry because we have not incorporated our water. I'm just going to, we're, I'm starting the kneading process. If you re, know how to knead, kneading is you take the bottom of your palm and push down and turn it around and push down. I'm going to take all this excess off because that's all extra noodles that you'll be able to eat. And it's very, very tasty. I'm just going to roll back and forth. Okay. Now I'm going to add a little bit of our water. I'm just going to take a quick uh, break to wash off my hands so I can add the water. So I'll be right back. All right, we're back, and I'm going to measure out my water. Um, now this recipe calls for two tablespoons. Depending on the moisture in the flour, it may use a little more or maybe a little less. So I'm just going to measure out round about about two tablespoons and I'm going to I'm pouring it into my liquid measuring cup. Now the reason I'm not pouring it directly on here is because if I pour it directly on here and I don't need that much water then essentially my dough is ruined. So what I've done is now this is the dough with the uh, two eggs and the yolk in it and it's pretty sticky pretty pliable and we're just, I'm just going to pour, like I make my little bowl again. And I'm going to put my water, just a little, directly into there. And I'm going to knead. Remember, bottom of your hand, push, pull around, push again. Do not like flatten it out and then fold it over. I see a lot of students doing that often. Now this is supposed, this will be a stickier dough and that's totally normal and how you want this to be. See how it's all coming together and it's very, it's looking smooth. It kind of uh, expands back. That's exactly what you want. This means our gluten in our um, flour is activated. Gluten is a substance that when you mix liquid into flour, it forms, and that's what gives your pasta the texture. You may have heard that word before, and that's what it is. Some people have a, a gluten allergy, and they can't have flour, because flour, or gluten is in all flour, most carbohydrate products. Um, so there is a gluten-free flour that you can buy if you have that allergy. And you know what? This is looking really good. So I probably only used about a tablespoon of my water. And this is looking fabulous. You're going to need this now for 10 minutes. And when I say 10 minutes, you need to make sure it's the 10 minutes because you want your dough at the right texture. Once you feel your dough is at the right texture, you're going to ask your teacher for approval. Then what you're going to do is you're going to, let's pretend my dough is done. You're going to wrap this in plastic wrap and your teacher will give you a label. You will. This needs to sit overnight in the refrigerator so tomorrow when we roll this out um, it will be uh, nice and cold and uh, very firm for you to put through the pasta roller. Thank you.